Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you some of the easy ways where you can edit your digital stickers or how to make them. I will show you some of the basic stuff. So basically, this video will be a beginner-friendly tutorial. And mostly, I, I will be using Canva since this is a very easy-to-use platform for creating stickers and stuff. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first step is to open canva.com and then click the create a design button. So I will be using the poster size for this one, but you can use a custom canvas. You can set the pixels to 1920 by 1080 if you want. And after that, I will insert first the color palette I will be using. So you can search for yours or for your inspo on Pinterest or colorhunt.com. Here in the elements tab, I will search for a brush stroke. So you don't need to copy the things I'm gonna do in this video. You can just make it as your inspo or a guide. Just be creative and play around with the elements and colors. I will then change the brush stroke color by using the eyedropper tool and copying the color from the palette and click done. Next is to duplicate the element and I will change the color again. So I will just repeat the process as I will be placing here the days of the week. So after I have 7 of this, I will then insert a text box and place the word Monday. Um, I'm gonna use the playlist script font for the text and for the color, I will just use a dark brown and again, duplicate the text and um, change it to the succeeding days. I will do this up until the word Sunday. And by the way, I use 83.8 for the font size, then I'm just gonna edit them a bit. Next, I'm gonna add this highlighter element. So this will serve as a legend for our highlighters. Um, so I picked this one and I'm gonna change its fill color. I'm also gonna add this highlighter brush or ink. Then place a text with the word legend. And then I will change their color and adjust them. Next, I will duplicate again the highlighter and then change their color to Roy Jibiv, aka the rainbow. So I just choose the muted shades of the respective colors. So I just place an additional highlighter with this light grayish color to place here the other highlighter color I'm going to use. So the next sticker idea is this ribbon thingy. So just search ribbon in the elements tab. And I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to change its fill color by using the eyedropper tool. And then I will place here a text that says important. And I use the font virtual with white font color. I will then duplicate this ribbon again and change its color. Next, I added this shape with rounded edges. So I, I will also change its color and then add another shape. So this will serve as a to-do note for your planner or digital journal. And I will repeat it to the other shapes as well. Next, I added this shape. So the one with a rounded edge and has this shadow thingy design i will make um two of this so it depends on you on how many you want 
um, to make. So I will use this muted green and uh, this pinkish red color. And then I added here the word to do. And added some squares and lines. I will then duplicate it and place it on the other shape. And then download the photo and click save image. So this applies to those Canva users that don't have a subscription. So if you're using the free version of Canva, I will show you how you can make the photos background transparent. So after you save the image, go to your photos and then duplicate it. Then crop each group of stickers. Then download the app Photo Room and open it. Click the plus sign above the phrase Start from Photo and in here insert the sticker image you cropped. Just wait for a few seconds until it finished scanning the photo. Click the one with a transparent background and as you can see here some of the sticker parts become transparent. To fix that, click a product and then the cutout tool click select subject and in here you have to maximize the background and then click confirm use the green broom icon to restore the sticker parts here i click those parts that become transparent and then click the eye icon to preview it and after you're done with it click done I'll just make some adjustments and make sure that the watermark will not cover a part of the sticker click the download icon at the top then export it by saving it to your photos i will then repeat that to the other sticker photos um duplicate the image crop a sticker group and open it to photo room So if this happens, like there is a watermark on the sticker, if you want to delete the watermark, you have to be a pro or you have to pay for a subscription. Click your photo, then adjust its size by pinching the screen. After that, save the photo. And here are the photos I cropped. And change the background to transparent but if you're a canva pro you can save it as a png and then check the transparent background option and download it next i will show you how to design stickers with procreate so first you have to add a canvas i'm going to use the screen size so in the first layer i'm gonna add the color palette photo i used I'm gonna add um, another layer and I will use the color from the palette. And for the brush, I'm going to use the monoline. This is from the calligraphy tab. I will make this a note. Here, I added this squiggly shape first and then filled it with a color. I will then add another layer, click the clipping mask and change the color and size of the brush. I'm going to add some straight lines here. And then I duplicate the second layer that consists of a shape, this the squiggly shape. And then I will add a layer above it and use the clipping mask tool again. I will use a darker shade of brown and then brush it there to have this shadow effect. Next is to add another layer. I'm gonna add this ribbon thingy. I will make four di different designs. And then add another layer above it and use the clipping mask tool. In this layer, I will place the designs for the ribbon drawing so you can be creative if you will make yours. Here, I duplicated the plain ribbon design first before continuing designing the ribbons. I add here dots, lines, waves, and uh, a sprinkle design for the ribbons. 
Next, I will add another note and this will be in a grid design. I will also add a background or a shadow effect for it. I will add this push pin photo and then trace it with the light brown shade color, put some outlines and some shadows. Next, uncheck the layer of the photo so you can only have this pin showing. Next, I'm gonna add here another note sticker. And then put some tape and pin and a shadow design. By the way, I forgot to mention that you can um, enable the drawing guides. And here I'm going to adjust its opacity, thickness, and grid size. Lastly, I will add this washi tape designs and I will still use the color palette I included in the canvas. Next, I will add some designs. So first, I added this diagonal lines. some random and wavy lines. To save the drawing, uncheck first the layer of the palette and the background. And you can save it now as a PNG file. So after making those stickers, I will now show you how to insert them on your GoodNotes planner. First is to open your GoodNotes digital planner or journal. And I suggest that you should have a page for your stickers to be organized. Click the photo icon and then insert here the two images we saved earlier. Next, click on the photo, then click the crop option. Here you have to crop the individual stickers we made. This might take you a lot of time um, depending on the stickers, on how many stickers you made. You can use the freehand or rectangle option in cropping. In freehand, you can just easily draw around the stickers to crop it. I will repeat the process until I'm done adding and cropping the photos. And after you're done with all of those stickers, you can either set it as an element to easily use the sticker or you can just copy and paste them. So if you want to add it as an element, click on one of the sticker photos, then click add element. You can add it to a new collection. I will name this first collection to days and then click create. I will add the remaining days stickers to my days um, sticker collection. So next are this highlighter stickers and I'm going to add this to another collection. And I'm going to name it as legend. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm adding the scrapped photos or stickers to their specific collection. So I added here my tags, notes, and tape sticker collection. And as you can see here, I have different collection of stickers. Yay! Now I will show you two ways on how you can make use of the stickers. So first is by clicking the sticker icon up here in the tab section. And you can just click here the sticker you want to insert. Or um, on the second 
option that I will show you is um, you have to go to your stickers page and then use the lasso tool copy certain sticker and paste it to the page you are working on so I just noticed here a difference a slight difference so by using the sticker from your elements tab from your elements it is a bit more pixelated than the one we copy and pasted for me this is not a huge issue but you can just um, use what you prefer and as I've told you earlier I included this highlighter with a light gray color so you can add here a specific um, additional highlighter or color you want to add and here I'm just testing out the other stickers I made And yeah, those are the two easy ways on how you can make your own aesthetic stickers for your digital planner. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!